All right, let's get after it now. We're gonna be making some incredible jewelry using Dollar Tree paint. Hey guys, so I know it has taken quite a while for me to record a creative video since forever ago. I don't know, I feel like I did one last week, but I couldn't have, right? I don't know, but anyway, so I'm so excited because today what I'm gonna do is I'm on, on my way to the Dollar Tree and shout out to Joyce McTeer. She's always sharing like really cool hauls from the Dollar Tree. So what I wanna do is I had asked her if she had tried the Dollar Tree paints and she said she hadn't yet. So I'm gonna go buy some Dollar Tree paints and we're gonna see how they do, how they perform as compared to the other paints that we have. And we're gonna try them out and make some really great, gorgeous jewelry designs. So look at the earrings I'm wearing today. These are in my store. I have tons of great jewelry in the store. The coupon is still good. So you can still so need some earring finding but I haven't decided if I want to go to Hobby Lobby today because there was a, a thunder. I can't talk today. I'm so hungry, right? There was a thunderstorm earlier, and so I'm not sure if it's supposed to storm again. I'm not on the coast, so I'm not worried about um, a hurricane per se, but I want to say a special prayer. God, thank you for covering all of my friends and fellow creatives that are along the coast of Florida, the Bahamas, um, Texas, North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, everyone along the coastline, and even inland. I thank you, God, for your hedge of protection. You're covering in, over, and around us. And I thank you that you're constantly sending your angelic host to watch over us. And so I am going to go to um, the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go to Michael's, I think, or Hobby Lobby because I want some more paint and I need some more earrings for the jibber jabber. Today, I haven't decided yet the exact design that we're going to do, but I have two ideas in mind. One is going to entail a really long pair of earrings with some circles. Um, using the wood burner. I want to do I think a few scripture based or scripture related earrings and then the other one I think is going to be more of a surprise and we'll see how the Dollar Tree paints do and see what we make and create from there So let's get started. I'm gonna run into the store I'm gonna sneak in and take you with me so you can watch me select the paints that we're gonna be using and then we'll see if the weather holds up Then I'll also take you with me inside of Hobby Lobby not see anything okay just so i don't get put out on anything plus i don't have a mask on you won't be able to hear me so god bless you stay tuned who am i i'm girl the price you already know that let's make some jewelry okay so in we go let's see what crafter square has to offer and get us a few paints on today so excited so here i am on the craft owl in stealth mode nobody was really on the owl at the time so i'm just looking at stickers which i obviously don't need um, I did want some new findings. I was looking to see if they had any new wood pieces, but these are all really big and I know, and I have so many big pieces already. So I decided to forego those. I thought about the alphabets and the numbers, but I don't know, I think I, I just feel like I have some. So I didn't pick those up. The clothes pins I thought make a, might make a cute design, but I don't have any ideas around them. So I just decided to leave those alone leave those alone, I should say. And then here are all the paints. I really was having a hard time deciding which ones to get because I wasn't sure how they were gonna perform, but I did notice that these are kids' paints, so I didn't buy those. I noticed that these are the tubes that I am end up gonna end up picking up, but I didn't know that at the time. So that's why I'm showing you all the different varieties of color. They even had glitter paint, which now in hindsight, I kinda wish I would've gotten. Those were fabric paints, the little tubes you saw up there. And then these are just colors that were down along the bottom. There was glitter, glitter glue, chalk paint, um, and just the like. So that's all that was down there. I'm just looking around so I'm just gonna let you look around with me and dig around in my basket see what I ended up with and then we're gonna go from there to make some cool stuff
you paint this thing? I mean, it's something that scares me. You could paint this thing. I mean, or something that scares me. And I have the welcome committee out at Dollar Tree today. When I say bad moods and rude, I don't know, maybe they just tired of dealing with people in these Rona streets, right? But anyway, I got the paint. And one thing I noticed is that the paints that are in the tubes are super light. Like there's not a lot of paint in there. But I don't know, I mean, it's probably a lot. But the bottles, of course, seem like they had way more paint. What's she talking about? Hold up. Because the weather looks like it might hold up, I'm gonna go ahead and run the Hobby Lobby because I need to get some more silver toned earring hooks. So we're gonna do that right quick and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start the paint project. And are y'all having a great weekend? I hope so. It's, the weather's not beautiful here, but it's such a great weekend. Why? Because we're blessed in the Lord and we are in the land of the living. In Ecclesiastes, and I don't remember the scripture, it says that a live dog is better than a dead lion because the living have hope. Amen. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Stay tuned. Okay, so while the weather is holding up, I'm gonna go and see if I can get us some So let's go through everything right now. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I was eating some, y'all yeah, love Cheez-Its. When I tell you not a little bit, I literally love Cheez-Its. So anyway, I did good today, I didn't overeat on them. Plus I haven't worked out today yet. But these are some findings I got from you know where, from Hobby Lobby. They had a jumbo bag and these were $6.99. I used a 40% off coupon. Let me make sure they gave me my 40% off. So I only saved like what? Oh, well the jewelry making supplies were on sale. So, oh, these were on sale. So they were $3.49 and there it's a value pack of 180 pieces. So that's cool, that's 90 pairs of earrings. These were 50% off. So they were only $1.99 and there's 10 pieces in there. So five pairs of earrings. Look at this beautiful metallic paint. So I wanna do something with that. We'll set that off to the side. And that was everything I got there. I just got those three items. I showed you in the video, I got these little clips because I've been wanting them and I had just been lazy about buying them. But these are the paint colors that we got. So we got a really pretty pink purple. We got a black, a sky blue. We got a purple. We got a white and a fluorescent orange a regular orange. Those are all the tubes and we got a, um, like a royal blue. So these say that they are actually acrylic paint. These are by Crafted Square. So this is Dollar Tree's own private label brand. I wanna see what it's, how many ounces. That's what I was, so it's three fluid ounces. So we're gonna check the quality of those. I'm gonna set them off to the side over here. And let's look at the bottles. So I ended up only getting the bottles because they didn't have the yellow and the green in the tubes. But guess what they did have? They have um, they had glitter paint in the squeeze tube, but I'm not, I have so much glitter already. I'm like, I don't need any more glitter paint. Plus I'm not like a huge fan of glitter, so I didn't buy it. But these are ready to use paints by Prang. And it says they're washable. And guess what? These are eight ounce bottles. I mean, so look at the comparison three ounces, eight ounces, and they're both a dollar. So I'm just wondering about 
the quality, which of course we're getting ready to find out. So just I don't have a design idea in mind. Hey, we're gonna rock it and just them. figure it out as we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get these shaken up some light and bring you with that on camera. When you open That's it up, that's also gonna give me a few more minutes to dry. I just wanted to show you. And we're gonna make a couple of pairs of earrings. I went on and drilled a hole already. I think I told you that. To put the paint in, I'm not here. My son and husband talking in the background. So my husband's sorry for all the background noise. And but, also, um, so we can say let's see what this one looks camera. like when you open if it If you're new to my videos, one. I use so the Dremel the cool light. On it I got well. it from Lowe's. It and I use the five quarter light and Lucy. bit on the end to get the perfect earring hole. Okay, so I've shaken everything up. We're gonna use at least four of the colors in the tube, and I have some other little disc off to the side. So we're gonna do at least two pair, or um, let's see the consist. We're gonna do two or three pair, or either we're gonna do two really great pair. Not sure yet. So let's look at the consistency as we squeeze it out. It's pretty thick. That one is like a really thick consistency. That's the black. This one is the white, because I'm gonna do, on these big earrings or the larger disc, I'm gonna do half black, half white, and then a design in the middle. So this is how the white comes out. It's a little bit looser, which makes me think the black is older or just a little bit thicker, I'm not sure. That's the white. I'm gonna put less of the light blue down because I'm not gonna use a lot of the light blue, but let's look at the consistency of it. These have really great consistency. I mean, they're pretty thick. I want to say that they're a little bit thicker than the bottle paint that we normally buy for a dollar and some change from Michaels or AC Moore. Plus, you think about it, for a dollar, you're getting three ounces of paint, where normally we're only getting two fluid ounces for a dollar forty-nine and some change, or unless you buy the seventy-nine cents paint. You know, it just depends. So once you shake it up, it is a really thick consistency. It just seems looser when it's not shaken up, I guess because the liquidy part is at the top, it's settled. So this is the peacock blue. That's what I'm calling it. Now that one's really loose. So look how that came out. That's really loose. Let me clean off the top. I'm gonna go wash my hands right quick. And they don't have, I was looking to see if they have names, but they don't. They're water-based tempera paints. They do wash off of most fabrics. And it doesn't really give any instructions on how to use it. Well, yes, it says remove cap, squeeze tube, gently applying um, pressure. Um, use soap and water to clean hands and brushes and then washes from most fabrics. It says um, just repeat if it's a heavier stain. So. Before I wash my hands, let's see how the eight ounce bottle of paint is. I mean, think about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I spent ten dollars right on ten things of paint, this one being a super large bottle of paint, eight ounces, how many colors could you get from just this bottle? How much money could you make if you were doing a creative and you know, an earring business or a business that required paint? How cool is that? So let's see how the consistency of the green is coming from the bottle. It's pretty loose too, but it has a thick consistency in terms of it seems a little jelly-like. Let's see the yellow one. I know I was gonna do that off camera, but I just felt like before I poured it, so. That's the consistency of the yellow one. Now, these are a lot looser than the two paints. So, let me wash the black paint off my hand. Well, never mind. Hey, we used to be an artist. So, let's go ahead and paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the black side first and see what the black paint is like. Okay. 
Wow, you guys. That is such a great thick coat of paint. I mean, seriously, I'm gonna look and see after it dries if I need another coat, but that is a really yummy consistency of paint. I know that's my word, right? That's really cool. So I'm gonna go over just a little further because I have an idea in mind. And of course, I may okay, go over I the hole where the earring is, but that's fine. We can always open that in my back up with our pointer tool. Working. And so I mean, I you guys, that is some nice coverage. Move just a smidge. It's Let's see thick. It has a really great coverage. That's a little bit better. Where I can go pretty. straight on. But it's the way I'm sitting is kind of weird. Like so next, so let's, let's do, do the this white one. Paint. And on this one, we're going to do the opposite side. I'm you know, bar because area I want my earrings to come out. Outward. So there's no place where I can so put I want my legs under there. So it's just opposite of one another, looking like but, they're going oh in the same goodness, direction. Oh my goodness. So the white is kind of disappointing. I mean, not going in the same direction. It's more like. Y'all would be so proud of me. I had some cheese it's over here on the bar. I didn't Ugh. eat half it's the box. Like a thank God. Gosh. I'm working that on being more. I shouldn't have had the cheese. That doesn't even show up at all. from crap. So. Does it know it's supposed to be paint? <laughs> but I ate it. I'm Maybe it didn't get the paint memo. Yeah, that it, let's do it one more time. But after being on vacation really well. for those few days and eating just stuff I would not normally yeah, eat. nothing. I mean, you guys, this paint I mean, that's is not yummy. good at all. That looks this more like a black, white glue. So let me get a real white paint. Tree. So I would say the white and I'm going to go back over this one more time because I can see my That's a negative ghost rider. I mean, you can always, I guess, use it as a base. I'm gonna go on and make the coat even since I have it down. You could probably put that as a base if you don't, I don't have know if I'm gonna have to do another. Um, but that was not enough. good at all. So I'm not used to working on my the bar white area. So y'all forgive from me. From Dollar Tree is enough. Heck, I do that on the table. That's what it looks like. It shows. Nice. I like it. So I'm gonna rinse the brush off. I forgot to bring some water over here and then I need to get that black spot off I just got right there. So this is my least favorite white too. This is one I got from AC Moore and it's called Wicker White by Plaid. I don't know, I don't love it, but I think it's because I don't like true white paint. It's not because it's not a great paint because it does have good coverage. So let's try that when one I say here I have missed you all, I have missed creating the Dollar Tree white we just did. Yes, yeah, see and, that's um, a true white. Glad to be that making shows up. some jewelry. Does its job. Don't forget, go shop <laughs> the Dollar the Tree White store. was just Again, like never mind. I'm off the over there. Plus, I'm matter of fact, I'm some of the prices. Period. So, but let's see. It makes me don't wonder what out. the other colors what are going to be like. Of that. So let me take. But let's see. Off but I guess here. if you want it like an opaque, y'all. When I was at the store, let's just they say they show up out. light. They don't go on as heavy as they should. Halloween. I guess if you just wanted an opaque color, one whole stone, kind of like a see-through color. I guess that would be okay. So. But Let's I really sure want like a true really black well, and so white say, oh, design. <laughs> that orange drop dropped in my white paint. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. So this now, is real loose. You could take down um, the middle to get that straight orange. line that we talked so about. So what I want to do before past. my white paint gets contaminated, but let me go grab some thing. right quick. I want to get some earrings and made finish before up this Jesus earring. comes back. In other words, I don't want to take 20 years to get that done. And that's what I'm thinking is like, let's say we don't love the Dollar Tree paint. So that's the paint. Even though I do love the black, I'm a fan. It to dry. It's been established. But let's say we use some of the other colors and we're not a fan. We could maybe use them to mix and make okay colors. That's what I'm thinking. Missing spots. Let me see. Let's see first. 
Okay, I had to fill that in. So while that's drying, I'm gonna rinse the brush off. I'm gonna let that coat completely dry okay. of the white paint. So we're gonna sit those off to the side and, and then I'm gonna do dry. a second coat on this one. But in the meantime, before I do that, before I, I wanna paint on do the these edges. little tabs with some of the other colors and see what they Okay, one more rinse off. Okay, so let's try the blue colors and see how they turn out. Let's try the light blue first. It's opaque too, look. I wonder if we layered it, if it would get any better. I don't think so though, because it shows up really, really faint. But since we're in, we're committed, you know what they remind me of? They remind me of a glue, like a. Um, okay, so after the incident with the white, I'm really know, nervous they remind about me like trying the fluorescent glue that has color. I meant the um, fluorescent orange, but let's do it because it's looking a little. I'm gonna try it on paper before I put I'm it on. I'm gonna let earring. that layer dry and see how yeah, it ends up and see what it looks like. The um, the white, and then figure out you it's know how we can use it. Color. So now that it's was the light blue. So let's turn it faint. around. So maybe it would be and let's good try the darker on, blue. Um, now like look, I said, it'll be the darker good blue. So it seems you like the do darker like some lighter colors opaque. So we'll try adding it to the white. A little bit more opaque. The white I mean, a little so bit like more look, yeah, fell opaque into than the, the lighter colors. Tree, I mean the regular white. And the lighter paint colors are gonna be more. So let's see how that looks. Let's see if we mix those together. Cause look, it does have a darker shade. But it, it doesn't, doesn't really do anything out. for it. It's still pretty okay. Exactly like the, so, um, the fluorescent. But you know, I kind of like it because it looks like so let's see, this But it doesn't one. come out like the black did. Kayla, turn it down but just I a do, little bit. I do like how this and looks the white against the now. lighter color let's blue. Let's try this. So I guess it's really going to depend on what you're trying to do and what look you're going for. But let's keep testing it. But if you want earrings that kind of look like tie-dye, I think you could accomplish that with these lighter colors. I think you could make something. It's just a matter of the design and the style you're going for. So let's let those dry. We're gonna put those off to the side. I wanna match them up because I feel like I put more paint than on that one. Also, I noticed that the brush strokes stay in there. Maybe it won't while they're drying, but right now I'm noticing that it holds the brush strokes. So let me rinse the brush and then we're gonna try the pink.
Okay, so before I use the other colors, let's go ahead and put the orange and the purple on the paint palette as well. Oh Lord. Oh no, this one's giving me a hard time. Okay, and let's see how they turn out because I'm thinking that they may be similar to the black. Look how thick and chunky that came out. It reminds me of the black one. And then this is the purple color. So let's see how different it is from the lighter colors we just tried. So that looks pretty intense, right? Similar to the black. So let's do, let's try the pink because we haven't used that one. So the pink came out opaque. Let me show you what they look like, which bottle that was. And again, I don't completely dislike it because I like the opacity, not opacity, I like the translucence of it. Although it's not what I was expecting, I don't despise it. But I feel like you can create so many different designs so many different ways. Every supply and tool that we have, we can create something out of it if we just let our creativity take over. So I do like the translucency of that. It's almost time for date night tonight. My husband and I have dates on Friday and Saturday night at home, but date night nonetheless. So tonight, you know what I was leftovers. wondering too? I was wondering that yeah, we're gonna watch movie, if so. they came out translucent like that because I painted paint the bases. Okay. okay, so that's the pink. Initially, with let's try the on the cards. other side I wouldn't of the pink. That would make a difference. But let's, let's try see. The so I went and got these bases. So I'm not gonna do the came finished out of the coat tube, on them with the mod like cards, and I'm gonna see how they turn out. So we're getting ready to use. The praying, wow. which is the eight ounce it's bottle, so different. I of mean, the it's green. more like the consistency. Let's of see the what black. it looks like. Isn't it's seeming kind of loosey goosey. So it seems like to me, nope, it's good. With the dollar it's tree not paint, as the darker the color, the more of the pink, um, black, the lighter paint. the color. I'm sorry, I was out of. But it has a rich color. The lighter the color, the more I'm translucent. It has a, it goes on with a smooth finish. But I like that. Sounds like I'm describing a drink, doesn't it? I think that we can juice that up and make that super cute. It goes cute. on so with a smooth this finish. I don't drink. So, so look how light this is. Because I said that it just sounds like a color from the Dollar drinking. Tree in the same tube so as the purple. That's, look how translucent it came out. And then this really is. Really pretty. I like that. The purple. So that's the smooth the finish same of the tube, green. Same brand. Let's do the other one. This is the Dollar Tree's brand, Crafter Square. I'm assuming that's their personal brand. Their private label brand. It's real loose. But look at the it's difference. It's a real. And look how opaque that is. Slick kind of paint. So remember I like how that. I said it went on. It looked like it was pouring out pretty fast. I think if you know what you're. No, we're gonna get, see too how fast. Because even with their dry, markers, right? Like I didn't know what I was gonna get when like. I used their markers, but I like yeah, their I'm markers sorry, a lot. I think they made so loud beautiful they're they're looking at sports So look, that's really cute. Highlights. So I like that. So I gotta rinse the brush off, and then what so, we're gonna do is we're gonna test out super cute. the green I like that. and the yellow. So now what I'm gonna so do is I'm just gonna wipe the brush off right quick. I did have to take my bracelet off. I found that I did have white paint <laughs> in the bracelet. So I'm gonna rinse this green off my brush, and then we're gonna try the yellow and see how it's.
Okay, so, okay, so now, now we're, we're going to try that the plain over yellow. The ones we did I would say that we I would like to have shaken these a little, little bit longer, so I would recommend them. that. I'm just assuming that that might so make it a difference, but who knows? Layer by so giving it any more color by yellow. going over it again. It kind so of we're just going to assume that that's just going to give us too. Oh, a light wow, shade of the color. color. It has a rich more color. On it. it went on with purpose. And then do the it other said, one. Hey, I'm because not going to let you down. I actually wiped off some of the color by doing that. That so, has really great coverage. I would say so that even the lighter though it colors on, like a really don't have great paint, coverage. So if that's what you're looking it has for, a really then nice don't buy the lighter too. Like if you don't Look. care that it gives you like a little bit of a luminous color, almost like that's a sheer pretty. gloss with a faint so tint of color. If you don't mind that, then this is the paint for you. Which I think would make your. And then we're gonna go back over some of the other ones. So while the these are drying, right? okay. So colors. look, that has a really great coverage. This is the frame soft paint and in the eight ounce right? bottle. So, so just let's think go about back over how it with many, the peacock blue, which is I the mean, darker just, blue I just keep thinking about how many things you could create. And see how many things you could layer any different. I have. It does give us some of the flowers that Joyce makes here had just painted. But what I will say about these is they have so many larger earrings that I said I want to start making more dangles because while I've done more that other pair of earrings like these, um, I feel like people will wear those wet. more often. So even though people are super into big jewelry, I just kind of wanted to make some that were smaller and medium weight. So look how gorgeous the yellow turned out. I'm gonna sit the that other up to thing the side is to dry. Right, and then I'm gonna go back in the video because I put the Mod Podge one on more the time before we go so back to the So what I'll working. do is I'll test that theory. I'll get another pair of circles using the same color paint, these same colors, and see if they do that, or if it was because I used the Mod Podge base that made it puddle and kind of do that weird thing. So let's check and see. I'm gonna rinse the brush off and put another coat on these, and then we'll test our theory. So we're gonna put the second coat and the final coat of the yellow one. And let those dry. And then we'll go back to working with the black and white ones that I'm gonna put color dots on. Now I'm gonna to have to change my design, my design idea with the black and white ones because I had planned to use the colors that we have out here. I had planned to use those to make the different colors on the black and white pair. So now I gotta plan out a different design idea for that because they're not gonna be dark enough to show up. So that's that. And now what we'll do is we'll put the green coat on. And these will all be off to dry. So even though these have like a, a glue, Elmer's glue kind of Mod Podge consistency, they have really great coverage in terms of color. And I like that. Now it makes me wonder what the glitter glue would have looked like. One of y'all will have to go try it and find out. Well, not telling you, just asking. Take one for the team. <laughs> I don't know now because in doing this in yellow and green, I'm almost thinking the green glitter paint would have been really pretty. So look, that's pretty. And even though I'm not a glitter fan, I do use glitter in my jewelry and I'm gonna continue to do so. I just don't like it because it gets everywhere. It's not that I don't like it, like the design of it. It's just, it's all over the place. So that's that. I'm gonna let those dry because I wanna do a purple line down the center using the Dollar Tree purple, this tube. So again, this yellow and this green was the eight ounce paint. Oh, you know what I realized? Is that we didn't use the orange. So I didn't use the orange. That was the darker orange in the tube. So let's try that on.
Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is like some, like a line and then like some polka dots. So let's go back to these. And so what I'm gonna do is, this is the top. So let me just make sure our hole is still open up here, which it is. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is like an orange line down the center. So let's see how the orange paint from Dollar Tree does. I'm gonna keep it flat on the surface. The black is dry. And I'm not really trying to do a line, just like an orange design. That's a pretty rich um, orange color. Now, I may have to go over it again, or I could potentially keep it a faint color, but look. That's okay, pretty. so because I'm too impatient to I wait, like I wanna go so ahead the, and put like we're the, talking about the I darker do purple colors. dots. I was gonna do a line, so what they, I'm gonna um, use is the purple, the darker purple tempera paint. They definitely too. do. Show and them let's more, see how um, it does with polka dots. More opaque I think than the lighter ones. colors. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. So I think what I'm gonna do is it reminds me of Mardi Gras. As well. Now you know you could mix in your other paints and other like colors with making these. So I'm just noise trying my best to stick with the Dollar Tree paints nice because that's what we were just trying to test out, out and sample. Stuff. So I don't want to go. I did with but the white, but I don't want to go and get. Okay, so another. um That's that paint. You know, and just kind of dilute the whole. Test, right. The black is still just so a let's not do that because so. my finger was sticking to it. Put our dots on here. This purple, okay, along so with the yellow, that's and how the that looks. So the really orange pretty. is really how rich in colors. That's two, this four, six, orange eight, right here. Ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Love it. So we have to sit those off to the side to dry. And y'all, we're gonna get a full pair of earrings, fear not. So next that I want to do is another we coat of pink on tonight. these, we and then we're those. gonna do two, our purple four, six, line down eight, the middle eight, here, eight. and then we're gonna put and everything. And they were in. not too excited about that, but I'm tired. I'm not gonna cook tonight. So and plus I cooked two meals last night. I normally do. I'll cook two, and then hey, they pick one from there. So we're gonna let those dry off to the side. What do you think? I think those are really pretty. I mean, I do think I could add more to them. But right now, we're just gonna leave them alone to let them dry. I put a second coat on the pink. They still need some zhuzhing up. These look like baseballs, don't they? So I'm trying to decide. I was gonna do purple on these, but now that I have the purple on there, I mean, the purple on the green, I don't know that I wanna add purple here. I'm thinking that I wanna do white polka dots over here and maybe black polka dots over there. Let's try that out. That didn't work out because I forgot I had orange in the um, in the paint. That polka dot didn't cooperate at all. But we're gonna keep going because guess what? This show must go on. I could always straighten that dot up. Because what do we say? It's paint, not concrete. And I kind of like the fact that there's a little bit of orange mixed in there. That's not terrible. Cute. I might not do anything on the white side because I like that. I wish the um, pink was bright enough to do something over here because then I would do something with the pink, the translucent pink. But look how that looks. We may add something, but let's see. Let me do the other earring and match it up right quick. Y'all might hear my 14 year old. She's on the call with her friend. My whole family is loud. I guess they get it honestly from me. Cause my husband's kind of quiet when he wants to be, but I'm pretty loud. I really like how these are coming out. I'm surprised at the Dollar Tree paint. Um, just that, you know, how, it, how nice it came out. So let's add, I think we're missing a dot right over in here and maybe one right over in there. What do you think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We need another dot over here. 
but I don't see where I can put another dot. So let's go in here. Okay, well, let's add one more in there, so then we can go add one more where I feel like we need one over there. Yeah, that's the thing about polka dots. You can completely just get carried away and engrossed with polka dots. Let's see. Okay. So, I like those. We're going to let them dry. Sit them off to the side. Okay, and now, my gorgeous rock stars. Stay tuned for tomorrow when we finish up these, these incredible earrings. Because I 